In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to show you how to blur an area of your photograph. This comes as a request of one of my subscribers. So we have this photograph we've loaded, and I'm going to click on the Guided button at the very top, the third from the left. Wants to make a copy, I'm fine with that. Now we're going to click on the Photo Effects subcategory, and we're going to choose the Blur Tools. I'm going to choose the third tab, the rightmost tab, and click on that one. Now we have several blur types that we can use, soft focus, bokeh, or motion blur. We're going to leave this on soft focus. I'm going to change the blur degree way up to near 100%. And then we're going to do a reverse here. I'll click on this, and now we will blur the area out. I want to change my feathering down quite a bit, and let's say we want to blur out the word library on the building. So I can drag across it, and nothing happens. If I hold the Alt key down and drag, now I've blurred out the library so we don't see it. If you have a license plate, something like that, if you have someone's face and you don't want that to be identified, you can hold the Alt key down and just blur it like this, and now it's not recognizable. So that's how you can use it. You can blur as many areas in the same photograph as you want. If you don't like the way the results are and want to start over, you click on the Undo button in the left panel. If you like the results, you can click on Save As, and it will save that as a file type that you like, a PNG, JPG, or TIFF, and you give it a name. I'll leave it at this and click on Save, and now I've saved a copy of that. So now I have the original untouched and I have the saved copy with areas of blurred according to my needs. So that's as simple as it is to use the blur element in the guided area to blur out certain components of your photograph in PhotoDirector 365.